So, hello Steve. Hello. Mr. Bonk. Uh, we're going to have a look at the prop drums, right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, uh, we, we brought these out just just before Christmas and there's four modules, a bass drum, a snare, a hi-hat and a clap. And they are uh, DSP based, virtual analog. Each module is a kind of a completely different development, has a totally different uh, kind of hierarchy inside it. And the whole idea of these, if I just mute the, the, the snare drum, actually the snare drum's up here, annoyingly. Uh, so, you have a, a very kind of uh, easy morphing system whereby using the editor software you create what we call a quad patch and that has a kind of a preset at each corner and then you can morph between those patches with the, these XY coordinates and so the, the whole thing was about making these great for live use. So you have a very, you kind of have these reliable corners that you can morph to, but you can also CV it and make it kind of go crazy. But you know, you're in the gig and you want to bring it back to something really tight, you know, and it's really easy to do. So compared to, you know, bringing out like big analog drums, you know, you need a, a massive uh, module to get a kind of complex drum voice. Uh, we've put that complexity instead into the editor software but then giving you a really elegant way of, of morphing between those different patches. So, um, we, we've also, you know, we're actively in development on this. We've got some new features as well. So I could take you through some of the new features. So the bass drum, we've got a new, um, hang on, if I change to a different mode, we've got a new FM bass drum mode. Um, so quite a big change in the sort of timbres you can get out of the bass drum. Then um, we had a listen to the snare. There's a new delay mode on the snare, on the hi-hat. We have a, a BBD style flanger. Um, you know, you can always turn the effects off and get them completely dry, but you know, there's just certain effects that work great with certain drums, you know. That, that BBD flanger style is really nice. And then on the clap, we've got, um, we have a new reverb mode. Uh, the reverb's improved, and there's also, there's a reverb gate on it as well, so you can get those really nice, present, gated reverb sounds on the clap. Um, we have some new morphing modes I should talk through as well. So each module basically has 16 different patches in and there's different ways of morphing between them. On the first firmware release, they were organized into four quads as we call them. But uh, in the new version, we have some new morphing modes where, for example, this one, instead of a two by two morph, it's an eight by two. And that means you can just get some really quite radical morphing changes between them and then we have what we call uh, the large mode which is a full grid of four by four patches and uh, the, you know you can get really radical changes but again really easy always snap back to one of your corners and get your kind of reliable kick drum back uh, so yeah we that's it's all about that it's all about giving people a lot of power in a small space so they don't have to bring out a huge rig um, and then the software editor, so at the moment we've got it attached to the snare drum here um, and I can show you that, so this snare drum is being sequenced live from the modular, it's being sent CV from the modular, it's connected to the editor via USB and you know you can be editing those sounds live, you can be creating new presets, assigning them to different morph settings, uh, so you know as a uh, as, a, as a way of designing your presets offline, making yourself a really tight set of, of drums and getting them into the modules ready for a gig, it's, you know, we think it's a really nice, really nice way of working. And, and they're just connected via USB, right? So you've got, on the yeah. back of the module you've got a USB slot. Okay. Exactly, and you can have all four modules connected at once through a hub if you want. So, you know, you can really kind of concentrating on doing the design session and getting a, a new set of patches built up for a gig and then get them into the modules and 
disconnect the USB and you know off you go. It's it's a it's a nice way of working. Um, and and they are uh, the prop drums are just. Um DIY at the moment, right? They are DIY at the moment, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, there's plenty of people who build you a, you know, yeah. a ready-made version. But yeah, still, we, you know, it's something we, we struggle to even satisfy the DIY market. So we uh, we, we concentrate on that. There are there are people. So yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So and, and what is the kind of kit price? Uh, the kit price is, uh, I think, for you can get all of them for under 300, I think, if you buy all together. Yeah. Excellent. All right, Steve, thank you. Thank you. Cheers, Ed.